Welcome to another edition of Tech Talk Tuesday, brought to you by Great Choice Audio Video. Today we're going to speak about something everybody needs in their home, a remote control to operate their entire system. Today I'm with David Truitt, my name is Steve, and here we go. We talk about universal remote control and other ways to control your system in your home. Typically, in most people's homes, what we see is a lot of remotes sit on the dining room table. You got the TV remote, cable remote, TV remote, Blu-ray remote, surround receiver remote, and then some random remote, we don't even know what that is. Ain't nobody got time for that! So, get rid of all those remotes, and let's do one remote. And we're gonna go over all your options that we do here at Great Choice, uh, from simple to feature packed remote that can do a lot more than just operating, you know, a receiver, a cable box, that sort of thing. So, uh, Steve's gonna go over the 990, and then we'll go over the 780. Uh, you will, first of all, you wanna say something about what URC is and you know, how long they've been around? URC was the, stands for Universal Remote Control, by the way. Um, they were the originator of the multi-brand remote control way back when. They still, to this day, make about 90% of all the world's remote controls. You may pick up a remote control by brand X, Y, or Z. It goes to your television, VCR, VCR, Blu-ray player, cable boxes, probably made by URC. Um, they're also used by, reports say, right at 85% of the world's professional audio video integrators. So we know what works, and that's why we use URC. Now, URC has many remotes. Now, here we use two, uh, two remotes mostly from them, the MX-780 and the MX-990. And I'm gonna go over the 780 and Steve's gonna go over the 990. The pros, the cons, the differences, why we use one over the other. Um, the 780, we'll go later in the, in, in the video, a nice detailed um, demo of how each remote kind of functions, how it works, how it lo what it looks like, uh, going from source to source, on off, that kind of thing. So you can kind of see uh, firsthand on, on what it does. So the main thing is, this is an LCD remote. It's battery operated, takes four AA batteries. Um, it can shoot out IR for infrared, so line of sight pointing it directly at something. Very simple remote. Um, I would say cons of this remote would be a small display. Um, a little bit difficult to read because it is small. The display is not quite as bright. Uh, but the pros is, is it's an inexpensive remote. Um, it's easy to use and uh, can be programmed by one of us here at Great Choice um, through a uh, computer, easily edited. Um, and then what about the 990? What's the difference in that thing? Well, the 990 has a few differences. Um, one being it has eight larger, easier to read color OLED icons. The screen can be customized for, um, for to your liking. So you can have a neat, really, really cool custom background. Um, it has a feature that allows you to schedule events, such as your system comes on, the lightings can dim. It also has a pickup sensor, so when the thing is off, you pick it up, it automatically lights up, so you can see it, so you're not trying to turn it on and trying to figure what's going on. The main thing that we find that customers like about this remote control here um, is the fact that it doesn't run on batteries. It comes with a free um, battery recharger. It comes with its own rechargeable battery. Um, Multi-remote controls, multi-brand remote controls are going to eat up batteries quicker than regular remote controls because they're operating several items at once. So if you got a remote control that's operating four items, it's going to eat up the batteries four times as fast as a regular remote. This doesn't do that. This does cost a little bit more, um, but it's we sell more of these because our customers like the convenience. It's super easy to use. I mean, uh, both of them are very similar as far as how they function. Um, this is much brighter. I mean, you could definitely tell this is a lot brighter than 990. Um, I find that people who, I say a different, a definite pro of that is people who have a hard time seeing things or reading things or up close. The 990 is much, much easier because it's a larger print, larger icons. Um, both can be totally customized. Uh, one big advantage also to the, the 990, I didn't say, you can do custom icons, like all your channel icons. And you can see right there, um, you know, that one's turned off here, but, you can see the difference in how big the display is compared to the 990, how bright this one is compared to the 780, um, the icons. And then, for instance, just real quick, and we'll do a demo, you can do custom icons 
on the like your ESPNs and different channel lineups where you cannot do on the 780. So the 990 does have a few more really cool customized things you can do that you can't do with the 780. That is a big advantage that I have. Another thing about these two remote controls, these remote controls are not ones you find at the checkout kiosk at Walgreens. <laughs> these have to be professionally programmed by us or other professional audio video integrators that are authorized to do URC. The reason is very simple. Um, URC, these are hard to program, very, very difficult. You don't have the program at home yourself, we do. Also, if you have something that needs changed, say for instance, you changed a different brand of Blu-ray player or something like that, you can call us, tell us that, tell us what kind you changed to, bring your remote control in, we can hook it up to our laptop, which has your program, and it'll download the needed information, and away you go. Whereas with other remote controls, you're downloading everything all over and over again, it's not gonna work. These are very, very convenient, our customers love them. Now, one thing that makes the, the system complete with these remotes, um, there's two ways of, of operating your equipment. If it's right in front of you, um, it's a line of sight. You can point at it. But a lot of times people have their equipment off either another room or in a cabinet and it's behind closed doors. So obviously you can't point at it and it work and, uh, and the doors be closed. So a lot of people don't want to see their equipment. So we bring in a piece called the RF base station, the MRF 350. It's by Universal. The nice thing about this is it will go into the cabinet where all your equipment and these little sensors for infrared will hook up to each piece and plug it into the back and through this RF antenna, the remote communicates to it. So um, works very well. And uh, the nice thing about these also, if you have multiple systems in your home, we can actually change the RFID on each one independently. So then they don't, you know, talk to each other. They're completely separate. There's no interference. So really nice, nice solution. Well, not a lot of money. You gotta, you know, maybe we have the combos. Oh, I would say that the 780 with this is just what, under 500 bucks. Mm -hmm. And then the- it's About six and a half. About six and a half for this. So two different combos, two different price points. There's one more solution. And in every house that we go to, we want to show, we want to look at what you have, what you are, what you're controlling, what your desires are, what all you want to control. If it's just a simple point and shoot, got a few pieces of equipment, this is always a great solution. Um, and so is this. But um, if you want to control a few other things in that, in that room, whether it's the thermostat, it's the lights, um, you know, and then maybe have communication back to the remote. And what I mean by communication, I'll show that later in the demo, is that you can actually see volume on the remote and what level it's at. You can actually see playlists from your favorite stations from Pandora or Spotify. I mean, you can see all kinds of stuff on this remote. And this is called Elan, and Elan can do a lot uh, through its controller, and it's only a couple hundred dollars more than these. So, three great solutions, three different price points, just depending on what all you want to do in the home. So now we're going to take you to the individual demos of the 780, the 990, and then the Elan remote, and kind of show you just a brief um, explanation or, or demo of each each remote on what it can do, what it looks like, and how it functions. So keep watching and. Hey guys, here is a quick demo of one of the remotes. This is the Elan remote option. This remote has the ability to have the two-way communication like I was speaking of earlier, which means you can see uh, volume, you can see playlists for music, all that kind of stuff in the remote. And, um, and, and it has the ability to control many other things. So just real quick here, um, this is the home screen. So in this particular house we have the roku we have a cox cable but we can uh, let's start off with the uh, cable box so just simply press cable and it's going to take us right to the cable box and there's your on-demand settings and then of course you look down the remote i'll show this here you know you have your guide your volume up and down your up and down arrows channel up and down your last all that kind of stuff and then i'll keep scrolling up on the remote you can see your play, pause, stop, record, all your numbers, all that kind of thing. So what I mean by two-way communication, so when I hit the volume up, see at the top, you'll see it going up and ramping up and down. That means you could tell on the screen where the volume is at. Now let's go to um, back to media. So we can choose something else. Let's go to Roku. Now. What's really cool about Roku is we can control everything there. And 
let's go to music. So music is where it's really going to um, shine over the other remotes. It's going to be able to show your playlist. So I'm going to hit menu. And so we have a music streamer. So we can actually go down to services, pick our services. We have Spotify and Pandora. So let's just go to Pandora. Some of this look familiar, it looks kind of like an app. Your stations. And there you go. So on this remote, you can play all your music, control your TV, cable box, Roku's, things of that nature. And everything is on screen because you're getting that feedback from all the devices. Now, another really big, cool advantage to this remote, like I said, it can control many other things. So lights, lights is one of them. So if I scroll up, you can see there's a light button right there. That's a toggle. I can just go, just go straight to one particular light and have that go on and off. Or I go over here to the home page, and there's a light button right there. So we're gonna press that button and we created a on, off, and then it's pretty much seen. So we can do 50%. We could we could pretty much create anything we want right there. But for this particular house, we just want it on, off, and 50%. So you're literally just hitting a button. Now the lights are 50% or off or back on. And so one other thing that you can do with this remote, let's go back to the home page. Climate control, let's say you have a thermostat that's, uh, that you want to be able to control that's near this uh, where you're controlling the equipment in this uh, in this area. So go to climate and boom, then now you can control the thermostat up, down. And see how many, this is another example of two-way communication. You're actually seeing the actual thermostat go up and down when you set it. All right, guys, here's the next remote that we're showing. This is the MX990. So this is the bigger of the two universal remotes. Uh, we like using this a lot. As you can see, nice bright color icons here for all the devices. Um, what's cool about this remote is when you select something, we can actually program, see favorite icons, uh, favorite channels, things of that nature. We can even change the, the different types of backgrounds. Um, your main button here can be programmed uh, to go back and forth. I think on this one, we also have it programmed to do a second zone, like a pair of speakers on the patio. So if you hit it again, yep, see there's patio, and that's what's available in the patio. We have we're using Sonos for a streamer and then AM FM radio. So it's literally toggling between the two areas. So this could be a surround sound receiver that's got a uh, power second zone, so a pair of speakers on the patio. So we program this one remote to control both these areas. Very simple. So this main button is just like your homepage. You're just toggling back and forth, back to your home. So you have the uh, we have Blu-ray, Sonos, Xbox. You know we can add many different devices on this particular remote. So let's say the Roku. Roku has some really cool features too on this remote. You can go straight to YouTube, Netflix, Pandora. So very easy and it's got all your up, down arrows, menu, guide, play, pause, stop, and numbers down below. So this is one one of the other two remotes and this remote has the charging station. Very cool. Hey guys, here is the last remote that we're gonna go over today. And this is the MX780, it's the smaller of the three remotes. This remote has no charging station, it's battery operated only. As you can see, the screen is very small compared to the other remotes. Um, it also has smaller icons. It's not quite as bright and not quite as customized. So it's a simple remote. And so if you're just using using this remote for a couple of devices, it's out in the open, um, it's a great remote, a great option. It's got your uh, same thing, it's got your volume, channel up and down, menu guide, up and down arrows, play, pause, stop and all your numbers down in the remote as well. But the screen, like I said, just a little smaller. We'll go to, let's say the, um, we'll go to Roku here. And so, you know, we got buttons like this uh, on the Roku. You know, we don't get quite as many buttons. There's only three on each side. Uh, let's say we'll go to uh, Smart TV functions. And we can still customize these buttons but like I said, the buttons aren't quite as big, but still a nice remote, uh, very simple to use, very similar to the other remote as far as uh, main is your homepage. So doesn't have the ability to do like the, uh, the lights and all that kind of stuff, but for, for basic operation and controlling multiple devices, uh, it's a nice choice. So give us a call today at 509-6422. We'll be glad to come out to your house, check out your system, to help you determine which of these nice remote controls will work best 
for you. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so every time we do a video, you guys get notified. And don't forget about our t-shirts. Got some awesome looking t-shirts here and the details are down below for our t-shirt giveaway. As always, have, have a great, great choice day. day.